What is up guys, welcome back to Spoiler Little Bastards. And on today's episode, well, obviously you guys can see I'm here with the Camaro. We are going to be do, doing a small, very small cosmetic mod, I guess you could say, to the Camaro. It's nothing too crazy, but definitely I think we'll change it up just a little bit. And I'm standing right here next to this badge because yes, this badge is going away. Not debadging it completely, it's just getting a little bit of a color in here. I'll zoom in a little bit later. But it is like a chrome that says Camaro with you know the American colors like the badge. And so here I have the same one except it's black. It's a little bit like the satin that is on the car already so I think that just to cover it up is going to look way better. Get rid of that chrome stuff because the chrome it just, it's, 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 it's got to go. So we're going to head to go ahead and do that. I've watched a couple videos on it. Um, I will go ahead and show you what kind of tools you're going to need. You really don't need tools. It's more just like miscellaneous home stuff that hopefully you have around. So it should be fairly easy. I'm going to do obviously both sides. As you guys can see here, I'm wearing my Tuner Colt t-shirt, the one with the roses and the wrenches. If you guys haven't watched me unbox that video, go ahead and go do so. It's the last video I posted. Kind of a cool video just to see the different kinds of shirts. If you guys want to watch that, go ahead and do it. And let's go ahead, get started in this episode, and uh, let's see how much of these make a difference on the car. Alrighty, you guys, so really the only things you're going to really need when I was watching the video, and I'm going to throw in a couple extra things just for... Um, what's the word for accuracy, I guess, is you're just gonna want some quick detailer just to clean up the surface a little bit so it's a little smoother. You're gonna want some goof off once you take off the badge itself. Obviously some microfibers to do both those things. Some either dental floss or fishing line. I have fishing line, um, should work the same. And I'm going to use tape. Now that what the tape here for is, is I'm going to align the tape on the sides of it so that I can make sure I get an accurate spot of where it is now because I want to say that for both sides it's fairly pretty good from the factory. Um, I've seen a lot of people what they'll do is they'll just take it off, take off the goof and I want to say just go, mm, that looks good and put it on. I want it to be as accurate as possible. The other thing you're going to want to do is let it either bake in the sun for a little bit or have a heat gun with you so that you can heat it up. I've let, let the car sit in the sun for probably about three hours now for both sides so hopefully you know it uh, it's all heated up and goes accordingly to plan and I think it will because it is a hot day. I am uh, don't know why I'm doing this outside but I thought it would be the easiest. So yeah, so I'm just gonna you know fairly quickly do this. Um, just so that I have a little bit of like a, what's the word I want to say? A little bit of just a, um, I guess like an, a, an idea or like a, what do you want to call it? I guess an idea of where to place it. So then you're just going to want to take this, wrap it around your fingers a little bit, a couple times. And you're just going to want to slide it through. And as you guys could probably see, you know, just want to go super slow. I can already see the, the, the glue coming off with it. Um, and you're just going to want to do it. I should have cut this stuff a little bit bigger. Make sure you have more than what I've got. And you're just going to want to wrap it around a few times and just go kind of slow with it. You don't want to try and just force it and yank it out. You want to just go ahead and, you know, go a little slow, get the groove of it. The glue will start to come out, you know. Um, already is as pretty loose as it is and uh, yeah that's pretty pretty much the process here on debadging it or putting them back on and uh, let me go ahead finish this and we'll get next back into it alrighty off there's a lot of glue here I went ahead and used one of these tools used this side once I got a little bit of it pried open and was able to pull it off a little more uh, you could use a screwdriver you could use anything with a flat surface um, and I'm even going to use it to start peeling away some of this, whatever you want to call it, glue. This is a whole lot on here. Oh, This might take a couple minutes to get off, so. Alrighty, y'all, so now that the goof off is off as much as I can, there is literally that much that was on there, like, they probably poured a whole bottle so then on the new ones all it is is it looks like a little bit of 3m double-sided tape 
maybe not exactly 3M, but just gonna head and peel. Man, can I get it? Peel off the red piece here. Come on, Betsy. 20 minutes later. Finally, he'll take it and you'll line it up. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure it's on there secure. Pretty good. Go ahead. And voila. Let's see what it looks like from back here. Oh yeah, that looks way better. It just matches better, just flows. The black matches, I think those came out really cool. A lot better than the chrome. I mean, just, you can go ahead and look at the difference. You know, it's just way better. So I'm super stoked about those. Another Amazon special for $27. And uh, just to do that, it it's definitely sets the car a little bit more, which we will zoom back out here so you guys can see. And it just all flows. It's all being black, you know, having it match there with the mirrors and everything else. So that's going to conclude it, really. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. You guys obviously don't really need to watch that because it's the same steps from over here. I highly suggest using the tape method, which I had it so it's lined up so that it looks better. Um, I think that's very key. And uh, that's going to conclude it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If so, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Probably gonna be some more Camaro content as well as a uh, Havasu. You guys stay tuned for the Havasu stuff because that's gonna be super exciting. We have something special for you guys, two things special for you guys actually, and so it's gonna be super cool. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.